How did Castro come into all that power? The largest islands of the West Indies, just west of Hispaniola, south of the Keys. 1952, a Cuban officer, Fulgencio Batista, ran for election and staged a military coup. He was a military tyrant. Batista offered neither health care nor education to his innocents. They'd be living in poverty while Batista and his friends were the unhappily. How did Castro come into all that power? Castro, who came from a prosperous family, went to a private school and even gained his law degree. Castro attacked Paz and Uprising. It failed horribly after the rebels got killed and Fidel got captured. Castro served only two years, then fled to New Mexico. In Mexico, Che was with Castro, forming the July 26th movement. In 1956, they made it back into Cuba and hid in the mountains. From there, they won more support from the Cubans. How did Castro come into all that power? In 1958, Castro's forces won. Batista fled. Castro was made prime minister, told other people that there would be a change. Little do they know that they were played. This is the story of how tension between the USA relationship with Cuba Kennedy. Then D. Eisenhower approves an anti-Castro plan. U.S. places embargoes blockade on their oil or sugar and guns and issue propaganda to overthrow Castro. President JFK approves of saying CIA to invade Cuba, trying to kill Castro. The Cuban Missile Crisis was the closest time the world ever came to nuclear war. Luckily, thanks to the bravery of two men, war was averted and Cuba remained isolated.